It's the beginning of May 2020. At this point last year, we were drifting at the Myrtle Beach Speedway for the Myrtle Beach Drift Series. Unfortunately, this year, because of coronavirus, we haven't been able to go drifting yet. Also, later in the month last year in May, we were able to go drifting at the Freestyle Music Park in Myrtle Beach, which is really cool because it's this uh, derelict, uh, closed down amusement park, and we're able to rent out the parking lot uh, to do some uh, skid pad events, which is really cool because it's so big, they're able to get some really high speed entries, which is a great place for newer drivers to learn how to drive at higher speeds. I put some links to a few of the Freestyle Music Park videos I have in the description below, so make sure to check those out. Uh, so you can see what it's all about. It's super cool. Because we haven't been able to go drifting yet, I've been uh, a little bummed, and especially right now, um, tomorrow, which when this you watch this video, it won't be tomorrow, but beginning of May, regardless, beginning of May, I was supposed to be going to Japan to go drift at Ebisu. So I'm really bummed because I'm not doing that. I haven't been able to get at the track. I mean, my car still isn't done. I'm waiting on a few more pieces to come in the mail for me to finally put back together my Beams Supercharge setup. Um, so I was going back through some old video and watching some old footage and I came across some videos that I hadn't edited from last year from the, Frieza, or from, the uh, from the Myrtle Beach Drift Series event at the beginning of May. So uh, that's what this video is. Also, later this month, we are finally going to be able to go drifting again. I'm really excited to do that because we're going to back out at Freestyle Music Park. So make sure to stay tuned for that. End of May, you'll see some videos go up from me from the Freestyle Music Park. Now, the footage from the event that you're going to, or the footage in this video is, uh, I would consider my driving wasn't the best. It's the first time I've ever been involved in a collision. My teammate spun in front of me and I couldn't get out of the way uh, or I just didn't know what to do and I hit him. Um, I pretty much, he spun and as I was drifting, I drifted right in the front of his car and T-boned um, on my driver's door and it caved in the door on the B pillar. Luckily, I got a roll cage that saved me, but still, uh, it really shook me up. I continued driving for the rest of the day, but my driving was a little shaky, so I qualified really low in the event and had to battle my way up and eventually, I actually made it a top eight, which was pretty incredible considering how shaky my driving had been all day. And then, um, I got knocked out by the guy who actually ended up winning the event, Dan Sella, so that's, you know, I feel pretty good about that. Without further ado, uh, here's some footage of me kind of driving okay, but it's a Beams 8.6, so you'll enjoy that.
against the number two qualifier and I qualified 15. Oh, this is sick. <laughs>